we've made a, a major discovery in human evolution in southwest China actually. We've found a, a new prehistoric population, um, one that's not been known about before, that um, actually has an unusual mosaic of, uh, of skull features, um, a mixture of features that we would see in, if you like, our ancestors of hundreds of thousands of years ago, as well as some features that are a lot like living humans and some unusual features as well. We've dubbed them the Red Deer Cave people, um, and we've called them that, basically we've named them after one of the main sites, a site called Maladon, where a lot of their remains have been found. Their skulls um, actually have a mixture of, as I said, a, a mosaic of, of different features. So, for example, um, they have rounded brown cases, they have a, a prominent brow ridge, um, the, the cranial bones themselves are quite thick, uh, their faces are short and quite flat, but their jaws jut forward and they don't have a modern human-like chin. Um, their brains are moderate in size and in some ways they're quite modern. So the, the frontal part or the frontal lobe of the brain is quite modern looking, but the posterior or what we call the parietal lobes of the brain are really quite primitive and their molar teeth are very large. So we've been working now for uh, about five years in China, a, a close collaboration between ourselves and, and Chinese scientists. And uh, during a visit a couple of years ago, my main collaborator over there, Professor Ji Shui Ping, um, brought to me a, a, a large piece of rock that had been stored in the basement of his institute for almost 40 years. And he said to me, Darren, what, what do you think of this? You know, and I had a look at this piece of rock. And there was the top of a skull just jutting out of the rock and nothing else could be seen. And of course, after I picked up my own jaw from the floor, I realised that this was something potentially very important. The, the skull that we could see actually looked really quite primitive. And, and my colleague said that this was from a site that could be quite young, that could be towards the end of the Ice Age. So we really then and there made a big commitment to, to have a look at this material and to get somebody to remove the bones from the, uh, from the rock and, and to do a detailed study of what we'd found. It, it's really quite a difficult thing to classify them at this stage. There, there are a number of reasons for that. One of the main reasons is that, believe it or not, at the moment, um, the science of human evolution still doesn't have a very good definition of our own species Homo sapiens. And that means that scientifically we've actually been quite uh, reluctant to classify them in a species at this stage. But the way I, I look at the evidence and the way we've put it together and analysed it is that we think that it could be one of two alternatives. The, the Red Deer Cave people could actually represent a new evolutionary line. They could actually potentially be a new species. But they could, the alternative is that they could actually be a modern human population, one that we've not known about before, one that migrated very early from Africa and settled the area and perhaps didn't make a genetic contribution to living East Asians.